this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and I'm getting on real quick here to give you a preview of my sale that I'm having tonight. Uh, Saturday, December 19th, I'm going to be going live at uh, about 10-ish p.m. tonight, late night sale. I'm going to be going on right after a uh, Pamela Blanchard's sale. So if you're going to be watching her sale, I'm going to be letting everybody know during that sale that I'm going to be going live tonight at about 10 p.m. as soon as she wraps up. And I'm going to go through real quickly here and give a sneak peek of a lot of the items that I'm going to have in my sale. Um, might have a few extra surprises uh, coming up also, but uh, this is the bulk of the items. And a couple of the items I'm bringing back from previous sales that didn't sell, but a lot of this stuff is brand new, hasn't been seen before. And uh, as you'll notice, I'm going to start off real quick. I've got four more Afghans behind me. And I've got um, lots of linens, which I think are right behind me over here in a bag that I'll grab and kind of show through those, but wanted to point out now, these are the last four Afghans that I have, and they do vary in size um, and pattern, um, but lovely patterns, lovely colors. Um, so I'll be having those. And I'm going to start over here by showing this beautiful ceramic elephant nice big flowers on him and a coca-cola little delivery truck tin isn't this cute the little top comes off here got this ceramic mouse bank he was painted in 1969 he is in fantastic condition he was very well loved. I've got this great, this is Italian ceramic, hmm, excuse me, ceramic uh, donkey with these cute little saddlebags. I've got a pair of duck salt and pepper shakers from Japan. Got the little marking on the bottom there. And this is also, I believe, from Japan, a beautiful set of uh, personal sugar and creamer. A little beaver figurine. And I happen to have another elephant. This is a clear glass candle holder. A pair of salt and pepper shakers, these little pigs in their basket, and they have these beautiful flowers on them. A set of four, and these could be coasters, they could be trinket dishes, they could be kitchen prep dishes. They all have this beautiful sunflower. This is a Lefton trinket box with these beautiful flowers on it. I have a Delft Holland windmill. My cats are playing in the bags if you hear that noise. <laughs> you leave a paper bag out for them and they go crazy over it. Uh, Ooh, there we go. This is a beautiful amber and brass, oops, amber and brass candle holder. I have a set of three, let me get these here. There we go, three stacking coffee mugs with this great like daisy and check pattern on it. these um, six ceramic um, women figurines. And a set of three raccoons. I think they're right there. There, raccoons. 
And then everybody's, I found um, found all of mine, and I'll show I'll show one here of everybody's favorite people watchers. And these are um, also new old stock uh, birds that are on picks. And funny, these are also called people watchers, same company, people watchers. <laughs> Um, this is a very, very striking um, for all the boho lovers. Um, I don't even think my lights are really doing this justice. This is a made in India enameled bowl. And what makes this really special is this pattern is not only on the inside, but it is also on the outside. And I have a feeling, um, based on the markings and stuff, that this is probably either 60s or from the 1970s um, from India. And I have this beauty. This is a brass wired bead tree. And what makes this bead tree really special is that the beads are in clusters, these really big clusters and it has these beautiful leaves on it and that is not something you see every day and this is a really really special tree there um, keeping in the boho lines i have this african um, bowl with an elephant carved in it Um, this is this is a very, very beautiful pattern. Um, this is Bavarian. Um, at first, you kind of look at it and you think that this is um, Japanese, but it is not. It is Bavarian. Very delicately painted. Um, but this is Japanese. And this is a whistling sake uh, server. So when the sake, warm sake comes out of here, there is a hole right here where the bird is and the bird whistles as the, oops, as the sake comes out. I have um, this fantastic um, black swan, very mid-century modern looking, love that one. Um, here is a nursery vase. This was made in England, and it's a very sweet, all kinds of animals, lots of colors for the nursery. And I'm going to grab this one. This is also some beautiful mid-century modern. We've got the gold um, finial on top and then the gold tone um, stand and then the silver trays and each of the trays, I'm not sure if we can get this in here to see, but right here, there's four of these starbursts on each level, really neat. And I have another swan. This one is a like an aqua a teal color and this is a planter. And I have another planter. This one is a dog, kind of a, I don't know, like an Irish setter type dog. And then here is his opening. And I don't know who makes him. He does not have any markings on the bottom. Um, here is some really fun carnival glass. And this is a, like a grape pattern goblet. And some metal, this is really, um, this is nice because it's not that really thick. It's actually really thin and bendable. So you do have some liberty with this to kind of move it in the directions you want. And it is signed on the back and dated 1985. And, oh, I forgot this, let's do this. This is um, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, oops, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. 
<laughs> and this is the decanter. And right here um, is where the, the lid is. And it still does have all the, um, the government um, seal on it. But this is a really fun little fire truck, Spirit of 76 there, for this really interesting decanter. And I have another metal. This is aluminum, and this is um, hand forged. And it has all kinds of leaves and fruits and really fun stuff on here. And it does have this really nice handle. Um, put that right there. And then for everybody who has a country kitchen, I have this really fun set that goes together. So we have the magnets with the cow, the chicken, and the pig. And then I have a plate that has the cow and a plate that has the chicken and a, a cast iron trivet with the pig on it that looks like a teapot. So that's a wonderful addition to a country kitchen. And I have, oh, this beauty. Look at this. Look at that blue. Isn't that just beautiful? And it even has a little bit more of a green um, to it than what it's showing here. Um, it's almost a really, really deep turquoise green. Um, I know my lights are kind of um, making it or making it blue, blue, but there is a little bit of green in this blue. And it is very, very pretty. Um, it's really hard to, I wish I could find something to, to get as a background to it so you could see that there's just a hint of green in here that makes this really striking and a bit of an unusual color than what I have normally. Normally I see like the blue that from what I'm looking at on the screen is showing, but this one's just a little bit um, of a different tone. Here is a Mexican pottery cat planter, a little different style than what we've been seeing with uh, some of the other Mexican pottery, but uh, this is a really, really sweet face on this cat. Very nicely done. And another piece here, um, again, very boho style with the way that this wood block is painted. And then it has these pegs on top, which would be great for brushes, pencils, even as a dried um, flower holder, lots of possibilities with that. Um, I do also have some art. I'm gonna make oops, just a little bit of space right over here. And I can get this art up here. Um, one of the things I really enjoy looking at and looking for is art. Um, I think it adds a very unique perspective to your decor. And this one um, kind of caught my eye because of the foil type design of these orchids, but also because the back of the frame is leather and it's nailed on. And I thought that was really neat. And this is made in Germany, the frame is, and uh, gives it a very deco feel. Then I have this one, which is an original piece of art. This is hand painted and it's, um, triple matted, which um, I really haven't seen anything or anybody go to the trouble of putting three layers of matting on anything. But this is, and I'll try to get in here real close, dated. I believe that's an 88 that that is dated. A very nice shot of 
um, like Canadian geese in flight. And this art print is from the um, 80s, and it has a little more of that 80s style, um, but it's a beautifully painted iris. And then I have two that kind of go together. And this one and get this one, it goes the other direction here. This one here will go like this, but beautiful, bright, bright colors. And this is by an artist out of Miami, which when I look, uh, looked up the artist, I was not surprised from the beautiful use of color. Um, and then the kind of tropical setting, but that definitely has a Miami feel and a very nice use of colors and brightness on that. And I am going to put these over here. And then I have a set of candles. I have a white set and an ivory set that are exactly the same. And these are from Illuminations. If anybody remembers that great store, um, both of these sets are from Illuminations and they are complete. All of the candles are in there and it's a really nice set. And I'm going to reach over here in the bag behind me and we're going to go through some linens that I'm going to have. Lots of linens. And I'm going to be having um, a couple sets of doilies. So I've got like doilies. And then this pair, this is more of a rectangle shape. And a cute little flower. And then I've got either a dresser scarf or a table runner, the front and the back are the same. So it's a nice long piece there. And this is hand stitched. This is a lovely embroidered piece. Get a close up of those pretty flowers. And then I have a beautiful handmade table runner that is done with quilt stitching on both sides. So I'm going to show this side first. This is beautiful for fall into Christmas or even summer. And then the back side is beautiful again for like spring into summer. So this is definitely something that could be for both seasons, but it's handmade and it has these beautiful quilting stitches in it. Um, very nice quality on that one. And I have an apron. I have several aprons. So we've got this one, which again is very summery and tiered, and that's handmade also. Well, actually, all of the all of the aprons I have are handmade. And I have this beautiful set. There are six of these napkins with this lovely cross stitch pattern. Here are the other two aprons. And this is handmade, and it's this beautiful white and tan gingham with a nice black stitching through there. And then this one is, this one's a, a favorite of mine because it is so 60s. You have the beautiful, um, well, it starts off with this teal aqua color, and then they've actually sewn this polka dot uh, mesh on top. They put in a couple layers here of this mesh to make this a little poofy, and then this beautiful um, eyelet type on top. 
There is a little hidden pocket under here, which I love. And then this beautiful string. I mean, this is, this is definitely not necessarily one you would wear for cooking, but one a hostess um, would wear for greeting guests. And then I have, this is a smaller quilt, um, but this is, and it's not too thick, but it's done with these beautiful pinwheel patterns all through it. There's four different ones on this. And so this is a nice lap um, quilt. And I have more. So then I have here, this is another either a dresser scarf or a table runner with these beautiful embroidered pansies on both sides. So it runs the full length. I have another dresser scarf. This one is um, these beautiful flowers on it. Again, that's a cross stitch on that. And then I have a pair of hot pads that are crocheted. And lastly, I have a beautiful tablecloth. And this tablecloth has these lovely flowers in the center of it. And then this very um, ornate pattern around. Um, the whole outside. And so that is um, a real good variety of everything I'm going to have in my sale tonight. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so join me, please, um, tonight, Saturday the 19th, um, right after Pamela Blanchard's sale, which will be right about 10 o'clock. Um, I'll be going live Eastern time, 7 o'clock Pacific time. And um, I would appreciate it if you would like this um, video. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions that you have on anything. And if you're interested in anything, um, please let me know because um, I will hook you up um, even before the sale if you are absolutely interested in anything that I have here. And... Um, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers so I can have a really fun giveaway. And I think that is about it. Um, so everyone, please stay safe. And I hope to see you tonight. And click the notification button so that you'll be notified for when I go live for my sale or for when I release new videos. And, um, and thanks for watching. And I hope to see you tonight.